Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and I really am looking forward to talking about this. It does involve some controversy within Sledgehammer Games, and you might get a little bit upset about this if you are someone who is collecting all the variants or were looking to obtain a variant of these weapons, because these variants are no longer obtainable through supply drops, so as of now, these are the rarest and hardest to obtain in the entire game, so if you have one, you are a very, very lucky person. Now, full credit goes out to Leader95 for bringing this up over on the World War II sub. I saw this last night like around midnight and I was skimming through the entire post and also looking at the comments and I was just in utter disbelief because honestly this is something that is pretty shady. So Leader was talking to Activision support and in the email he got them to list the weapons that no longer have variants and these weapon variants can no longer be unlocked through supply drops. And these weapons are as followed, they are the BAR, the M30 shotgun, the combat shotgun, the CAR 98K, the M1928, the Lewis, and the Bren. So again, if you have any one of these variants, then you are a very lucky person. Now, if you check out the variant page under the section where the weapons are listed, you're going to notice that the text on the right below the credits and COD points section is completely different. So instead of saying unlock weapon variants by opening supply drops and completing collections, it now says unlock weapon variants by completing completing orders, prestiging division, and reaching new social ranks. But the reason why this is shady is because nobody knew about this. Sledgehammer did not disclose to us that we cannot open these weapons through supply drops. Instead, they can only be unlocked through one or more of these methods I just listed. However, yeah, their actions is kind of justified because it's right there in text. But I mean, I didn't notice that it was altered. I looked back in the previous patch notes. I didn't see anything about this either. I think it's nice though that we can get these variants externally. However, if you are someone who recently or was going to buy COD points in order to get one or more of these variants, I'm sorry to inform you, but it's completely impossible. So let's check out one of these weapons on the list here, the M1928. I have the Wilco from reaching social rank 5, and then I got the Handler from the special order, but besides that, there is no other variant unlocked. Here's the Lewis, I have the Landship from hitting social rank 11, but no other variant. The M30 Luftwaffe, no variant. Lastly, here's the Car 98K, check it out, I actually have the Torpedo unlocked but I did not get that through an order nor did I unlock it from a social rank I actually got it from a supply job before this update rolled out that changed the way you obtain these weapons so it had to have happened before the resistance event that's what I'm guessing but I'm still not entirely sure about that either way I do not agree with this decision because I guarantee something like this has already happened say I spend money on COD points and let's say I want the variant for the M30 shotgun and I want the Valkyrie. Sadly, I wasted my money because there is no way I could have gotten the Valkyrie and then say I just said it's whatever, it's bad luck, let me spend more money on COD points. I keep on doing this and doing this until I run out of cash completely but then the next paycheck I try again and still nothing. I do not agree with that because it's taking advantage of someone. I really do feel that this information should have been publicized over on Twitter or at least in a Reddit post and people were saying oh let's sue sledgehammer games well sadly i don't think that's going to be able to happen because it's right there in text there is nothing listed about unlocking this variant through a supply drop another example this guy on the call of duty farm spent over 800 dollars to try and get a bar variant sadly he was not aware that they are not obtainable through supply drops and yeah like i said this is pretty shady honestly but i just wanted to bring guys this video to your attention in case you did not know because I didn't and I think this needs to have more attention. Now guys, lastly, there is a brand new division that was leaked out called Scout. I'm gonna post all the information down below. Credit goes out to Trex over on Reddit for finding this. I have no clue what this division may bring to your class. When I think of the name Scout though, I think of something that may pertain to snipers, but we already have a division for snipers. So yeah, you got me there. Maybe it could add suppressors on the rifles finally, but I really got no clue. There are placeholder images from the airborne division though, but then I was thinking maybe it's a possibility that the airborne division could have been originally called scout but then later changed the uh, name and then the code is just left over. I don't know, but definitely some really cool stuff here. I hope that maybe after every DLC event, we can get a new division. Uh, but yeah, DLC 2 was announced a couple days ago as well, and the maps do look pretty solid, and they are Egypt, Dunkirk, and V2. And uh, like I said, the maps look really, really great. We should be getting a trailer soon here within the next few days. And of course, it does release next month in April on the 10th. So guys, tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. What are your thoughts about the whole supply drop scandal that's been going on and just your overall thoughts about the new division possibly coming soon and also the DLC so guys thank you for watching till next time I'll see you later